Welcome back to a special State of the Union edition of Early Start. I'm John Ber Berman. Excuse me. I'm John Berman. I know my own name in Washington. So when the president speaks on Capitol Hill tonight, he'll be addressing one of the most polarized Congresses in modern history. Congressman Matt Cartwright is a freshman Democrat from Pennsylvania, now part of this polarized Congress. Great to see you. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you, John. I'm, I have to warn you, I'm still kind of prying my eyes open. I wasn't sure if you wanted me for the zombie part of the section <laughs> last hour. Well, we appreciate you coming in. The early morning hours are very important, I think, all over the country here. Before we get to the politics of the State of the Union, let me ask you about the big news overnight, because people are waking up to the news that North Korea has tested a new nuclear bomb, a nuclear explosion in North Korea. How much of a concern is this to you? Uh, it is a concern. Uh, North Korea is a, a place of the world that we can't take our eyes off of. Uh, I think it feeds into the larger question that we'll hear about tonight is, is about this sequestration and uh, the devastating effects it could have on, on our military capability in this country. I would suggest uh, the message there is now is not the time to weaken our military uh, might and power uh, because places like North Korea pay attention to those things. You, you're bringing up the budget right now. You're bringing up spending. And of course, the president has talked a great deal about spending and been in negotiations on and off with the Republicans, it seems, for, for almost two years now. We understand that, that he just told Democrats uh, at a retreat that, that he is prepared and eager and anxious to get a big deal, a big package that will end governance by crisis. You think there's room for a big deal right now? That's the whole plan, John, the behind this sequestration idea. The idea is not to put sequestration in effect and, and indiscriminately slash budgets 8, 9, 10, 11 percent. Everybody knows that's the dumb thing to do. The whole point of the sequestration was to provide the impetus to create a big deal. We need a big deal because that's what business people need going forward is certainty about what the plan What for. are you offering then as a Democrat? What do you think Democrats should offer as their part of the big deal? Well, uh, insight, I would say, is the biggest thing. I think what I'm looking for tonight from the State of the Union address is more of what we've seen President Obama, which is the appropriate response to what's going on with our national economy, optimism. Now is not the time to get scared. Now is not the time to retract and retrench. Uh, we all know that there's a debt issue in this country, but when you look at the debt, you have to look at the long term. The long term is compare the debt to the gross domestic product. If you, if you don't compare the debt to the GDP, you're comparing apples and oranges. People want to talk about 16 trillion. Wow, what a big number. But you have to compare that to the size of the GDP. After World War II, we had a, a, a debt to GDP ratio of about 121 percent. And people were saying, you will never pay this off. It's one of uh, uh, Robert Reich's favorite uh, right. stories, his father telling him, you will never pay it off, your, ch your children will be paying it off, your grandchildren. But, but look at the way the economy grew in the 50s and the 60s. After that time, nobody could, could complain about the can Roosevelt ask, debt with a straight face. Can I ask quickly about the audience tonight, because there's some talk about who will be sitting there. Uh, the Republicans, the Republican congressman from Texas has invited Ted Nugent, the rock star and, and gun advocate. Uh, how do you feel about that? Well, I, I don't want to at attack Ted Nugent, and I don't want to t attack the Republican particular guest choices. I will say that I know that uh, on our side of the aisle, we have invited a lot of people who are victims of gun violence, uh, and certainly that is a topic we're discussing. Does, you don't days. look particularly comfortable, though, with having Ted Nugent there. Um, I, I wouldn't say uncomfortable. I, I would say that wouldn't be my first choice, John, that's all. Uh, thank you very much, Matt Cartwright. The president of the freshman class, the Democratic president of the freshman class in Congress tonight in Washington for your very first State of the Union address. Thanks, John. Nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. Yep. We'll find out what the Republicans want to hear from the president tonight. Republic